Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sims 3 100 Baby Challenge. I don't know what episode this is because I'm doing them back to back, but I made the decision to go ahead and have Lyth try for a baby. Now it's been a long time since we've actually used a female sim, so I thought we might as well go ahead and use Bella Bachelor because she's probably going to be passing away soon anyway. Um, but you know, the thing is is that she's already 10 days, you know, she only has 10 days until she's an elder. So I was figuring we kind of need to go ahead and get the babies coming because these three probably by Sunday will move out or well by um, Monday I guess like after they have class Monday they'll probably move out so then we'll only have the four which I was planning to keep two of anyway for when um, for to help with the kids and stuff like that so I figured you know it's probably better this way so that is what I am doing I'm just kind of helping out these guys at the moment and we've already started making headway with Bella she's accepting our advances and whatnot so oh and uh, Mason and BB bachelor are they move in there they've ah, they've moved in together and they're in a relationship I guess kind of hitting it off lately. Uh, Eric Frio and May Hewitt are together, and romance is in the air for Penelope Hewitt and DeMarco Bunch. So that's what's been happening with them. Uh, let's see, you'll do a flirtatious joke. She's married, by the way. So I let you guys know. Awesome. Alright, they're doing great. How about we... Go ahead and try for baby with Bella Stacy. Awesome. Fantastic. You can sell that. Uh, things are getting hot and heavy for DeMarco Bunch and Penelope, so that's awesome. And everyone's finally done mourning over the passing of Jane. Which is kind of nice, since, you know, it was a little obnoxious. Not gonna lie. Um, no thanks. And they'll prom, I don't know, they, I don't know when they'll have prom. Or did they already go to prom? I don't know. Alright, so she's pregnant. We're getting more babies. Yeah, they did go to prom. I don't think. Let me see real quick. Oh no, they haven't gone to prom yet. Never mind. Oh great, so that's a whole other thing. Awesome. So, let's go ahead and, you know, break her heart. That sucks. Sorry. Oh, she's angry. Oh, well. Alright, well, so she's pregnant. So that's cool. Awesome. Oh, that's the computer that's... I'm like, what is... How is the TV... How's the refrigerator been rigged? Okay. Paint large. Alright. Cool beans. I don't know what to do with them. They're in really good moods, but... They're not really doing a whole lot. Quick meal. Don't care about that. You're fine. Alright. Make sure they've all done their homework. Cool. Alright, well. So she's pregnant, and unfortunately it's a weekend for The Sims, so it's not really... Nothing's happening. Nothing at all is happening, which sucks, but... Hmm. Whoa! Actually, a lesbian couple. That doesn't usually happen on its own. Oh, Cedric Stacy died. That was, uh... a. <laughs> That really is kind of crappy, because that was Bella Bachelor's husband. Oh, oh dear. I don't know who I'm going to have her try for a baby with next. I, kind of, I want her to get pregnant at least two more times, I think. I think. Um, but I'm not sure if we'll have time to do that. Although, I mean, if we end up with freaking quadruplets again, who knows what's going to happen. I really don't want that to happen. That was the worst thing ever. But hopefully by the time she has her next set of babies, these three will move out. That's what I'm kind of hoping. And I think that's what's gonna, what it's going to be at this point in time. 
So, I don't really know what to do here, to be honest. Because not a whole lot is happening in the house, unfortunately. And then there, there's the whole situation of, like, I don't really want to just skip through it. Because, you know, I don't want you to miss her, you know, the whole pregnancy and stuff like that. So, it's really complicated. Alright, well, I'm just going to keep taking care of them for now, I guess. But, um... I don't want this to be boring for you guys, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to wait to even really have her get pregnant, but the problem with that is, like I said, she's getting older. I mean, she's not going to stop aging or anything like that, so it was pretty much a situation of I need to get her pregnant because I'm about to run out of time, and so I decided to get her pregnant. <laughs> oh dear, what is going on? Okay. Um... Yeah, whatever. But, oh, she's done with that. Do I want to keep that? Not really. Okay, so that she has a cool th a little painting style. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to have her paint like this entire time because not a whole lot is happening and she has a lot of time to do all of this stuff, painting and whatnot, so we can have money again. Because we've been doing really well because she had a lot of time to get that stuff done, luckily. Luckily. Um... But now it's just getting these guys out of the freaking house. But at least, I mean, we made a huge dent by getting six of them out. We got six of those freaking kids out. So that's pretty great. And I'm going to be sending them to bed soon. So I'm going to end it at that point anyway. Just to, you know, skip through the night. Which, okay, she'll probably get, um, uh, start showing. Well, will she? She might. Mm, actually, I don't know. She probably won't start showing until tomorrow. Never mind. Forget that. Um, oh, let's see. Not a whole lot's happening. I'm gonna go ahead and let them sleep, I think. I think that'll be good. And I moved their beds around, so I know where all of them sleep. Uh, here we go, and sleep. Cool. So everyone's going to bed. I'm probably I'm gonna go ahead and you know stop recording here, and then we'll resume when uh, everyone's awake. And again, not a whole lot's gonna be happening because it is the weekend. But I don't want you guys to miss anything of the, like the pregnancy. Although I, she's not gonna have the baby until Monday. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. Anyway, I will see you guys soon. All right. So I went ahead and had the teens go to school and. They are not on honor roll. So, it's going to be one more day. And then, she shouldn't have eaten, I guess. And then, um, they'll probably be on honor roll at that point. However, prom is Thursday. And I would really like all of them to be able to go to prom. So, I think I'm going to ha uh, have all the teens around until prom. At which point, all of them might be able to age up. So, we'll have to see. But I do want them all to go to prom, so I'm going to let them. And then we'll age up who's ready to age up. And we'll go from there. But they're, they're not on honor roll. They're not ready to age up yet. So, I went ahead and just kind of left it at that. Um, we're going to be having this baby pretty freaking soon. I have had the music going. And sorry, lag. Which I'm not very happy about. But I've had the music going. And we actually got something in the mail. So, I want to check that out real quick see what that was about. Oh, we got a little potted plant. Okay, we'll sell that. And over the time, uh, while they were at school and whatnot, what's this? Um, May is engaged to Eric Frio, and, um, Liam is in a relationship with someone. Let's just look at the family tree real quick. Okay, so James is in a relationship with Darlene Bunch. Mason is in a relationship with Shirley Sekimoto. No one, uh, she's engaged to Eric, and she's engaged to DeMarco, and Liam is with new one. So, there's that. So that's what's going on right now with our little, with our kids, with, with Blythe's kids. And she should be having this baby pretty soon. So I'm going to go ahead and let her sleep for a while. And, um, the kids are, the teenagers are pretty freaking good right now. They're, they've, I think, finished their homework at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and put them to bed, even though I know it's early, but it's, that's that strategy is kind of working better for me, I guess, 
you could say, um, simply because of the fact that uh, they wake up earlier and then I can, you know, have them ready for school and then usually I can get them to go to school pretty early and I think it just kind of works out better for everything. And so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and have them go to bed. Um, I'm not going to keep playing while they're sleeping. I'm probably going to skip it. So this may have like a few some days in one, uh, but I think that'll be okay. Uh, that way it'll go a little bit quicker. I, I, I need it to go just a little bit quicker than what it has been. Um, but things were just slow because we had to get all those kids out of the house. At least that first set of teenagers out. And we've only been playing for about 10 minutes. So... I'm going to go ahead and skip it here and then we will return when either when she's having the baby or uh, just whenever but yeah I, I went ahead and decided that they're going to go ahead and go to prom I think that's for the best so yeah I'll uh, be back in a moment all right and we're back all of the kids are at school and uh, we are having a baby so we're going to go ahead and I think we're going to send her to the hospital I think that will be good yeah, and look at that, on a roll. And Shirley, okay, so Mason and them, uh, Liam is with Bella now, which is kind of awkward, because that's our, you know, the, uh, you know, we're having her baby, but that's cool. You know, whatever. Uh, so, they're at a field trip. And I'm just going to have them eat, even though they probably don't have to, but, you know, whatever. All right, cool. So we're having a baby. All right, so. Oh, I love that mood limit feel. Okay, so hopefully we'll get multiples, not four, but hopefully we'll get some multiples. Okay, so we have a baby girl, and I should have been getting my names like an idiot. I wasn't. Sorry if you can't hear me. I am bending to get my stuff. Okay, so we will be using the names that were recommended to me a while back. Um, so the next one is Caitlin. And I'm going to spell it how she did, Caitlin. Yep. And we get to choose her traits. And she's brave and a light sleeper. And we have another baby boy. And I had two I had two names that were on my list. Okay, I have them starred. So I'm going to go ahead and use, I think, let's use Patrick. Patrick. That was one that I had on my list, but she also didn't, uh, recommended it. So he's a neurotic slob, and just two? All right, just two. I don't think we've ever had just two. Cool, so we have two new babies, and I will take that. And I'm going to go ahead and cross out the name. So we used Patrick, and we used Caitlin. All right, and they are on the, her way home. Okay, so, whatever. Okay, babysitter. So, twins, cool. And one's hungry. They're both hungry. And teenagers are at school still, so let me make sure. Was Did I lock this? Unlock. Okay. So, go ahead and feed Caitlin. And we'll snuggle her as well. And put her in a crib. I'll put her over here. Oop, okay. And then hopefully our boy will be here soon. Oh, there he is. I see him. And we'll also feed and snuggle him real quick. I'm gonna put her in the crib. Thank you. Get bottle, snuggle, and put him in the crib. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and get her pregnant again. Yep. I'm gonna do it. Oh, he's fine. Okay, hold on. Okay, souvenirs, field trips, honor rolls. Okay. Alright, okay, so hold on. Who got on honor roll? He's on honor roll. She's on honor roll. He's on honor roll. So that's the first set of triplets, and then we have the quadruplets are not on honor roll. Cool. And, yeah, okay, so we're good. So now I'm going to go through and make sure that I get all of their stuff. 
that I can sell. Oh, he's technically in transit, so I can't use him. Cool. Got some more money. Awesome. So 400 more Smolians, and we're going to go ahead and put him in the crib, and I'm going to end it here, but in the next episode, which I'm not going to record right now, but I will record later, um, in the next episode, we're going to get her pregnant again, because she only had twins this time, and that's because one of the kids changed the music to pop, unbeknownst to me, which I was not happy about, but I'm going to go ahead, um, end it here, but I will be getting her pregnant in the next one, so she's going to have more babies. And... Other than that, we're just going to take care of them. They're going to go to prom, all that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!